Are you ready to transform your life and unlock your spiritual potential? Imagine harnessing the power of your emotions to fuel your creativity and spiritual growth. Emotional wisdom is the key to understanding yourself on a deeper level and navigating life's challenges with grace and purpose. In our new blog post, we explore how emotional wisdom can enhance your creativity, strengthen your relationships, and accelerate your spiritual journey. Discover the difference between emotional intelligence and emotional wisdom and why it matters for your personal development. Ready to embark this transformative journey? Visit our blog now to unlock the power of emotional wisdom and elevate your spiritual practice. Your path to emotional wisdom and spiritual growth begins now. Ever feel like you're juggling like emotions and creativity and that whole spiritual growth thing? Yeah. Today's deep dive is all about ditching the struggle and seeing how these things can actually boost each other. Yeah. We're diving into this blog post by Larry. Okay. He's got a psychology background, mm -hmm. but keeps things super practical. I'm intrigued. It's so easy to compartmentalize those areas of our lives. Yeah. But when we start seeing those connections, yeah. that's where things get really interesting. And Larry really walks the walk. He doesn't just talk about this stuff. Right. He's got seven videos wow. woven into this blog post Ugh. along with a bunch of other resources. Oh, wow. It's like, hold on. I need a minute to absorb all of this. Seven videos. Okay. He's clearly passionate about this. Where do okay. we even begin? Well, three videos immediately caught my eye. Okay. He's got one on taking control of your thoughts and emotions. Mm -hmm. Always a popular topic. Then there's find peace within, which honestly... Who couldn't use a little more of that? Right. Sign me up. But my absolute favorite title has got to be Be the Flavor of Life. Okay. That's amazing. And it speaks to a point I often find in my own work. This isn't about dry theoretical stuff. Right. It's about bringing more vibrancy and purpose into our lives. It's about really living. Exactly. And that's where Larry's video, Emotional Wisdom Created Power of Spiritual Growth. Mm-hmm which is right in the heart of the blog post comes in. He's not just throwing around buzzwords. Right. He connects those themes and shows how they can create positive change. Yeah. It's like he's giving you the roadmap, Andy, the toolkit. And a good toolkit is essential, right? Yeah. Especially because I imagine a lot of people reading this blog post might be wondering, okay, this all sounds great, but how do I actually apply it to my life? Totally. Yeah. And Larry seems to have read our minds because he dives into answering eight common questions people have about emotional wisdom and creative power. For example, he talks about how we can actually use difficult emotions as fuel for creative expression. Instead of getting stuck in negativity, right. we can channel those feelings into something productive. Now that's an aha moment. It flips the script on how we typically view challenging emotions. Absolutely. It's like, wait a minute, my frustration could actually be the key to unlocking a new project or idea. Yeah. That's powerful stuff. And then, because he clearly believes in going above and beyond, he finishes the post with even more resources. He really does believe in going above and beyond, doesn't he? I mean, seven videos weren't enough. Right. Like, hold my coffee. I'm not done yet. He throws in videos on 
Overcoming negative thoughts, creating your ideal day, and even one on manifestation. Manifestation. Like a whole personal growth library curated just for you. And what's interesting to me is that he doesn't just stop at videos. He's also a huge advocate for journaling, which really resonates with me. Mm -hmm. There's something so powerful about putting pen to paper and having that tangible record of your inner world. You know, I'm with you 100%. Yeah. Journaling has been a game changer for me too. And it's something I talk about a lot with friends. And get this, Larry has created all these different journals tailored to these themes. There's one for gratitude, one for daily reflections, even a money journal. A money journal. Now that's something I need to check out. You know, so often we think about personal growth as this very internal process. Right. But it impacts every aspect of our lives, including our finances. Completely. And what I appreciate about Larry's approach is that he's not saying, here's the one right way to do this. Hmm. It's more like he's laid out a buffet of resources and you can choose what speaks to you, what you need in this moment. It's that personalized approach that really makes a difference. We're all on our own unique journeys. Right. And what resonates with one person might not resonate with another. Absolutely. Yeah. It's about finding the tools and practices that help you unlock your own unique potential. And sometimes it's about trying different things, experimenting and seeing what sticks. Exactly. It's like that journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Larry is essentially providing a map and a compass but you get to choose the direction and the pace. Okay, I love that analogy. Yeah. Speaking of choosing your own adventure, we've talked about a lot of different resources today, but if you had to pick just one thing from this blog post that really stood out to you, what would it be? That's a tough one because there are so many gems in here, but if I had to narrow it down, I'd say it's the emphasis on the interconnectedness of emotional wisdom, creative power, and spiritual growth. Larry doesn't separate these concepts. He highlights how they weave together to create a richer, more fulfilling life. It's so true. It's like he's saying, stop trying to separate these parts of yourself and see how much more powerful you become when you embrace them all. Yes. And when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Our emotions can be a source of inspiration for our creativity. And when we tap into that creative flow, it can deepen our connection to something bigger than ourselves, which is often what we seek through spiritual growth. You know, it's funny because when I was younger, I used to think of spirituality as something separate from my everyday life, something I had to go on a retreat to find. But Larry's approach makes it so much more accessible, showing how it can be woven into everything we do, from the way we manage our emotions to the way we express ourselves creatively. It's about recognizing those everyday moments of awe and wonder, those little sparks of joy that ignite our spirit. And sometimes it's about intentionally creating space for those experiences, whether it's through meditation, spending time in nature, or losing ourselves in a creative project. And that's what I love about this deep dive. It's not just giving us information, it's sparking a conversation, encouraging us to reflect on how we can bring more of this emotional wisdom, yeah. creative power, and spiritual growth into our own lives. So as we wrap up here, I'm curious, what's one small step you're inspired to take based on what we've explored today? For me, it's about revisiting my journaling practice. I've gotten out of the habit lately, but hearing Larry's passion for it reminded me of how much clarity and insight it can bring. What about you? What's resonating with you? You know, I'm really intrigued by the idea of using difficult emotions as fuel for creativity. We ought to try approaching those feelings with a new sense of curiosity, seeing them as potential catalysts for growth and expression. It's like Larry says, be the flavor of life. And that's what we hope this deep dive has been for you. A burst of inspiration, a nudge to explore new possibilities, and a reminder that you have the power to create a life that's truly fulfilling. So until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and keep diving deep. unexpected surprises but no matter where your journey takes you you have the power to add flavor to life in this captivating video we explore the concept of adding meaning and purpose to our lives by being the medicine to sick 
the knowledge to fools, the love to hate, the money to poor, the words to books, the melody to music, and the peace to war. By embodying these qualities and sharing them with the world, we become a source of inspiration, joy, and hope for those around us. We ignite a flame of transformation that spreads far beyond our individual service, creating a ripple effect of positivity and love in the world. So let us strive to add good flavor to life and embrace the journey of adding meaning and purpose to our lives by being a source of light and inspiration to those around us. Let us be the flavor of life.